Hello, hello. Welcome. Wow. Hi, everybody. Yeah, right on. So we, uh, Denise and I did a video last week and we're coming at you live again this week with a different herb that we want to feature and personal story of Denise. I know for me at the shop, I'm getting lots of questions. It's like, oh, does Denise still work here? Is he still around? Yep, he's still around, but he's been taking some time off and uh, doing a bit of healing. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit yeah. about what, what you've been going through and... Uh, yeah, then we'll, then we'll get into this miraculous herb that you've been using to uh, help. Oh, yeah. Well, my rough and tumble lifestyle has been catching up with me. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I'm actually broke. I got a... I broke, I broke my uh, arm here uh, just recently, and I really wanted to share with you guys one of my fa one of the best herbs I've found to help with the pain that's been going on here. Yeah, and, and, and let's, let's back up. Let's give a little bit more details on, on that oh, yeah. break. I mean, we don't need to know, like, you know, when, what, you know, time of day, all that kind uh, of stuff. But uh, what you had told me, the you know, number of days you actually waited to, uh, to get the diagnosis, true. for sure, like that you actually have a break. I don't know about you, but, you know, you get an injury and you're like, okay, I, I can do it. I can rough it through. I've got my herbs. I can, you know, make it through. And uh, you went, how long? Yeah, well, so I broke it uh, ice skating, and I, I, I didn't really know it was broken per se. It, it hurt, like, so badly, and it swole up tremendously, but I, I waited a whole week before going to the hospital because I tried, to, I tried to, to see if I could take care of it myself with herbs, and... I actually did get a, a huge appreciation for the herbs because it's true. As long as I was taking my herbs, the pain was, it, I couldn't even feel the pain. And there's a few herbs that really helped a lot. And one of, one of them is the one I want to talk about today. It's so fascinating. Yeah, cool. So I, I've seen you use this particular herb before, kind of as a go-to, also giving it to people if they become injured. And uh, what we're talking yeah. about is cat's claw. Yeah, check it out. There's a tincture of cat's claw. Yeah, and we've actually even got uh, some of the bark here. So a friend of ours uh, goes to Peru regularly. I think it's been a while since he's been down there, but one time he brought me back a whole bunch. And I've actually seen this growing in Ecuador. Uh, myself and it is actually a vine but as you can tell it gets some nice thick bark and typically the form that we'll find it in is you know tea or tincture so it's one of the key herbs in our Amazonian jungle tea uh, formula and it's got over 2,000 years of use history of use and you know I was first introduced to it uh, for kind of as, as an immune stimulant as well as one of the number one uh, herbs for arthritis for both the pain and the inflammation. So kind of with that in my back pocket and back of my mind, uh, and I know you've had that too and that knowledge, I, I can see why that became your, your go-to. Yeah, it's, it's very, very powerful. The cat's claw might be the single most powerful herb from the Amazon. I want to show you, lift it, should I show everyone this little uh, point form here? I wonder if people can read this, but we'll, we'll read it out for them. And I'm going to put the link to this, uh, information for you in the, in the comments. Yeah. I'm going to hold it. Okay. So this is this incredible book that we reference. Uh, you know, every great herbal tradition, uh, has a book, you know, a source of knowledge and wisdom. And this is one of the best for the Amazonian rainforest herbs called the healing power of rainforest herbs by Leslie Taylor, uh, naturopath. And yeah, it really breaks it down, uh, with these different herbs. So yeah, I want you to read out kind of what she's laying out for the cat's claw, uña de gato. Uña de gato, cat's claw. And it's called that because it's a climbing vine and it climbs with these little hooks. It has like these little hooks that it climbs all over the forest with. But so cat's claw stimulates the immune system. So it's true, cat's claw is right now considered perhaps one of the better herbs you can take if you have, if you need to have, 
like um, have a strong immune system and especially for it does all these wild things yeah it's t completely antiviral as well yes. antifungal antibacterial so one thing that you will want to be aware of this is not an immunomodulator so anybody with uh kind of autoimmune or even if you're taking medication to kind of boost your immune system uh, you wouldn't want to take cat's claw because it's an immunostimulant of yeah. of quite a high order so yeah it's a very very fascinating um very fascinating yeah they definitely uh it definitely helps your body and it's very very good for if you know someone that is fighting against cancer because it can really bring the white blood cell count up but yet this is the second thing reduces inflammation this might cat's claw might be the single most powerful anti-inflammatory on the planet even more like i believe it's a w way more anti-inflammatory than turmeric hey malcolm can you show us the color here going on yeah okay the so there's there's the bark that's a nice little view of it there and so you can get it mm. in its kind of tea form and you're going to brew it up as a decoction because it's tough it's woody to really get those medicinal properties out you want to kind of do that decoction boil it up uh, this here is a very powerful extract um, in, a, in a tincture form and check out this color yeah it's so it's a very deep deep orange yeah Bonnie's asking, is this from North America? No, in fact, it's from South, South the, the Amazon. Yeah, South American herb. Perhaps it's regarded as the most powerful herb from the Amazon. One of them, anyway. Yeah, so I reach for this stuff if I'm ever hurt. I've had a few occasions where it's come in so handy as like a first aid, just because it has this crazy pain, re pain relieving effect. But yeah, let's go through the list here. Yeah, relieves pain, kills viruses, detoxifies, cleanses blood, increases urination, so it's a uh, diuretic, reduces blood pressure, reduces cholesterol, and decreases depression. It's actually a powerful mood elevating substance. It, it makes you kind of happy. Is it, is that just because you're not feeling in pain anymore? But yeah, it's, it's serious what this herb can do for you. And so it's one of the key herbs in our Amazonian jungle tea, which has many benefits, right? Including what Denis had just written out uh, or read out. So there's Pauyarco, Mirapuama, Catuaba is in there. And it, you know, Although some of those herbs are great aphrodisiacs and a lot of people will use the Amazonian jungle tea kind of as an aphrodisiac, this one uh, has a bit of a reputation to be anti-fertility. So not enough evidence that you can use yeah. it as a contraceptive. But it I'm, is contraindicated if you're trying to get pregnant. Yeah, so be, be aware of, of that one. But that it does involve taking a lot of it. Yeah, but, for sure. Oh, well, to your health and... Yeah, I'll tell you, the first time I I reached for this herb when I was in pain was actually, do you remember Malcolm? We were moving a fridge up the stairs that we were moving a fridge up the stairs at the old light cellar. Yeah, those remember? steep stairs that were not even to grade. Yeah, so we had a fridge on a dolly. Yeah, and I was un I was beneath the fridge <laughs> under the stairs <laughs> with an, <laughs> with Patrick. with another coworker, but. The yeah. fridge burst off the dolly <laughs> and came tumbling down the stairs on top of me and Patrick. And yeah, it was, we, it was one of those just, I was at the top and it was just one of those frightening <laughs> scenes of like, oh. like slow motion. What's going on? This fridge going down the stairs on top of these two guys. Uh, I think Patrick got the worst of it, but. Well, I, yeah, we, we managed to like, we managed to to survive we it was <laughs> we there was no broken bones no uh, there was definitely but, you know some increased heart rates and yeah. uh i think there was a, a little bit of pain you know patrick yeah. was, was hobbling for for a moment and absolutely for me i guess the adrenaline had kicked in 
but it was the next morning when I tried to get up and I tried to get out of bed. Uh, I, I tried to get up the next morning to go to work, tried to stand on my foot or my leg and it was my knee that really got hurt. And I, I tried to get out of bed, wham, I fell on the ground. I couldn't put my weight on my knee. It hurt so bad and I luckily had cat's claw right there in my medicine repertoire. So, and I literally, this was the one I had. This is a called the Cat's Pro and it's a powerful alcohol extract of the cat's claw. So isn't it like 22 to one or something like that? Yeah, it's, it's very strong and very good. And then anyway, it, I immediately just when the cat's claw was in my mouth, just tasting the cat's claw, the pain started going away from my first sip and I had a few sips of it and I actually managed to go to work and work through the day. And that's when I was, a, became a firm believer in its powers. And yeah, since then I've used it for a lot. I've used it on a lot of people that have gotten injured and it always seems to help um, with the pain. Yeah, so this most recent break with yeah. your arm, it's been your, been your go-to. Yeah, so today um, my arm is healing up real good, probably because I'm taking so many inflammatory herbs, but I can't really do any. I don't know, I really like, I, I don't know, I, t I really hurt myself when I was trying to, I was trying to type on the computer actually, and oh man, I like pulled a nerve or something, and, went all the way up into my uh, into my wrist here and it was so painful. So immediately I reached for the Cat's Pro. I reached for the Cat's Claw and this is maybe 20 minutes later after uh, feeling very in a lot of pain and it's it's virtually gone. I feel like I don't I don't feel that throbbing pain anymore going on at all. So very fascinating, very fascinating to reach for that if you ever are hurt. Yeah, okay, so Lauren was just uh, commenting that it's helpful because the I guess the video's flipping the, the titles around. Oh so yeah. Referencing the healing powers of rainforest herbs and you know, you, you mentioned about it's kind of mood elevating properties and I found yeah, a section absolutely. that's talking about that. So uh, there are two different alkaloids, I'm not sure if I could even pronounce these, uh, teropodine and mm -hmm. isoteropodine. Uh, the report of these two chemicals have shown to have positive modulating effect on brain neurotransmitters called the 5-HT2 receptors. So like your 5-HTP, that kind of a thing. On that, so it's that's what I thought it was affecting uh, neurotransmitters, and that's where it's getting that uh, mood cool. elevating benefit. That's cool. It looks it looks like so the. That means that, um, what's that say there, Malcolm, that? So it helps with depression, anxiety. Uh, they're saying even eating disorders, chronic pain conditions, and obesity. Uh, this is what I love, you know, A, about herbs, number one, and two, having books like this, because, okay, you know, Dini and I, we can get on here and like, okay, let's talk about what we know about Cat's Claw and, and uh, some of the experiences you and I have had or we know people have used, but there's just so much depth to herbs, even though we can say, okay, cat's claw, you know, pain, inflammation, immune stimulant, antiviral, there's actually, you know, it, it's not just, you know, one herb does yeah. one thing. There's like a ton of depth and uh, that's why it's just so fascinating. I love these books for the, getting into that. We're, we're gonna put the link to this, this book is all online. Um, so we're gonna put the link to cat's claw there for you to read more about, but it's, it, there's a reason it's considered to be one of the most powerful herbs from the Amazon. Yeah, actually, here's here's something really neat. Uh, so she says, based upon in vivo rat studies, cat's claw may protect against GI gastrointestinal damage associated with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, right? Such as ibuprofen. What do people reach for with pain, right? And there's that unintended consequences of, of damaging other organs and body systems. Yet, if you just go to a more natural remedy, something like cat's law, you're, you're going to avoid that. Um, whenever you have inflammation in the body, it, it takes from your 
your body your body's energy right inflammation is stress so whenever you have inflammation your body has to respond to it your body has to use its resources and this is the fight or flight response right that whenever we have stress our body has to secrete adrenal hormones to deal with it so inflammation is actually one of the leading causes of things like adrenal fatigue because basically yeah, I mean, your body's always putting up fires, like, literally, right? Yeah, it's yeah. using all its resources to, to take care of the inflammation. And it'll take, it'll take from other glands of your body to, to, to try to deal with the inflammation. So inflammation is the root cause of um, so many um, disorders involving the endocrine system. Because basically your body's using all of its resources to, to deal with that inflammation. So it, a cat's claw is considered adaptogenic or it's, it is considered an adaptogen from the Amazon. So yeah, cool. Very cool. When you deal with inflammation, all of a sudden your body's going to have all this other energy that it can use for other fun things. Yeah. Okay, right on. Well, thanks for sharing your uh, insights into the world of Cat's Claw and your experience. This is this is it, real world experience. So, you know, you talk about having, you know, a store of, of herbs so that when the time arises, I mean, uh, I've got Cat's Claw, right, in kind of my medicine chest. It's not, it's not my everyday go-to, but it's mm -hmm. good to have these kind of store of herbs that you know about that have valuable beneficial properties that, again, maybe you don't need them every day, but there might be a time where it's like whoosh, that's like suddenly it's your go-to versus oh I gotta go to the health food store and I gotta go find that it's like no you know I've built up kind of a my own medicine chest and I know you have and, and many people watching uh, have as well so it's that's a good good thing to to build into one's life so whether that teas tinctures and of course making your own tinctures are a, a great way to go as well yeah you know and you will believe this when you try it for yourself. It's, it's magic. It's yeah. a miracle. I'm so grateful to have this available, you know. Yeah, um, cool. Well, let us know if uh, we got lots of folks watching. Uh, let us know if you've, if you tr have you ever tried Cat's Claw? Was it tincture? Was it tea? And uh, have you noticed kind of those anti-inflammatory or pain relieving effects? Uh, in what context have you used it in your life? If you have, let us know. Uh, these are the types of stories that we love to hear and are able to like share and pass on and inspire others with. So thanks everyone for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. We're, I think we're hoping to do like a Herb a Week, hey Malcolm? Yeah, for sure. So we'll be, uh, we'll be back uh, next Wednesday. We'll pick another Herb and yeah, just kind of keep working through them. Yeah. So Destiny asked, do we carry the at Light Cellar? Yes. So we've we got for the, sure do. the Cats Pro uh, Extract Tincture. This is an interesting tincture bottle. I mean, A, it's large enough. I love that. It's not just a little tiny one. Uh, so this is 100 mils. It actually doesn't come with the dropper. Now, depending, and maybe you want to share about this, you know, kind of dosage and as you get into it, yeah. um, you know, a lot of tinctures you can take, you know, with that dosage, you know, you here in today, we just poured a little bit into a glass yeah. and uh, went for it that way. So, yeah, I mean, you could add it to, you could add some in an, a nice orange juice or something because it's pretty strong stuff. Apparently, vitamin C makes it stronger, so you could put it with a little lemon water, something like that. If you don't like to take like the full, powerful slip of <laughs> of the medicine, right? Yeah. So we do also have it as a like a single herb that you can brew into tea, uh, and then also part of the uh, Amazonian jungle tea. So which I'm getting low on here, just the last little bit left. Yeah. So. Okay, right on. Thanks, thanks, Lauren, and everybody else that tuned in and uh, sharing some comments. Destiny, yeah, right on. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Bon voyage, everybody. Au revoir.